what the Bugner corner must be hoping is to get Joe successfully through these early few rounds and then hope that the 10 years difference in age will begin to tell against Bodell. I remember that Bugner has also got a stone in weight advantage. in he leaves himself so wide open with these swings how about that then Bugner felt confident enough to stand there and swap him with Bodell I'd like to bet that wasn't in the instructions from the corner. Both these men having to really work for every point. a pretty even round there between those two they both swap punches and it would be difficult to pick between them there although Bodell was more aggressive and he gets them in, Bodell. Henry Cooper said that Bodell will be the most awkward customer Bugner's ever faced, and he's dead right. Those punches come from angles that Bugner's probably never experienced before. We're over a minute into this fifth round, and Bugner's not settled down in it yet. the ring circling the ring all the time and not giving Bugner much of a target for the left hand Bugner standing there very much at bay jabbing punches from Bodell getting through to the head of Bugner this is not a good round for the champion. Bodell picking him off now more or less as he likes. And Bugner will have to do a lot better than this if he's going to keep the title. But we've still a long way to go. He's getting past the defence. run for Bugner than the first. He's hardly laid a glove on Bodell.
Bodden has not got his boxing going at all in this one. He's looked a sorry sight there. He's taken everything Bodell's handed out. A thoroughly bad round for the champion. got some problems in that corner because surely Andy Smith his manager must say to him you've got to do a lot better than that if you're going to keep it because many more rounds like that and Joe Bookner will be in serious trouble Second off, round six. so now Bodell right on top with the initiative let's see what Bookner can do about it because he surely must do something better than he did in that last one. Standing there as though he just can't get his arms working. He wants to do something, but he can't let the punches come. one thing to do here for Bookner. He's got to pump that left hand out. That's his principal weapon, his best one. And he's got to keep that in Bodell's face. almost every attack occasionally spurring Bugner into bursts of action but Bugner looks jaded and very unhappy clearly been Bodal's round he's got through with every head attack he's thrown and Bugner can do nothing but hold on in this fight but very nearly all of it is coming from this man Bodell at 31 is putting up the fight of his life here against Bugner brimming with confidence now he had a sticky second round but apart from that he's done almost everything right and every attack he mounts now no matter how wild it might be and some of them come winging in from almost outside the ring it doesn't matter they get through and Joe Bugner is dropping further and further behind and he's got a lot to do to get back on level terms. Round two. Somewhere, somehow, Joe Bugner, the 21-year-old champion, has got to pull his boxing together and get the jab working, otherwise he can say goodbye to the championship. <laughs> 